Warning, this game is rated M for Mature. There are sensitive topics, both of a sexual and violent nature, so viewer discretion is advised. Okay, she's here. Um, I was... She wasn't showing up for a bit. Uh, here, let me give you all these stones. Let me just update my list. I now have three Yasso stones. Perfect. Not that one. Mondo stones, which I don't really need, but they sell for a lot. Taco stones. I get three of them. So that is enough. What I want to do. Miguru stones. I don't actually need these. I'm just turning them into those uh, to sell for more. Okay. So, uh, we should have a new model. Oh, wait. I'm still working on one. Okay. So, with all of the... With all the stones we just got, we should actually be able to get everything but, like, a few things. Anything with, um, Xantrake we still can't get, because we haven't gone back into the dungeon to farm for those. I sold off a lot of the stones I didn't need. Uh... Okay. Done with... Bloodstone and taco stones. Like, I'm literally, like, making sure that I have a list that's comprised. Um, Rugu stones, I still need some of them. I've been giving Yasuo Locust to her. Uh, seems you want to eat that Mew Cricket you have. Rugu stones. Okay. There you go. Just, uh, quickly edit how much I need from those. Because apparently... I need three more of those, but sounds like I actually sold a bunch of them, which makes me annoyed. Uh, is there anything else that we can get without... Yeah, Yasu Stones and Rainbow Quartz. Let me just quickly fix this list. Okay. Okay, it looks like everything else that we need needs either Xandrite or Rugu stones, which is pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to be back with today's content, but I just wanted to show off the fact that I have actually been working really hard at finishing off all the, uh, all the gag items from the pub. So, yeah, I'm getting Let's just get on with today's episode. Welcome back, everyone. Um, okay, so we don't really have too much time left. But I'm going to quickly update my spreadsheet. Um, I didn't mention it too much. Or I may have just like completely removed that part, but I'm currently keeping a list of things that I need when it comes to gemstones. Uh, right now, I need 32 Megatsu Zandrite, I need 5 Howlite, and I need 3 Rugio Stones. 
The problem with getting the Rugio stones is apparently I can only get them from that fish that I've been feeding uh, bugs to, which is kind of annoying because it means that I'm going to eventually run out of ways to get Rugio stones. So I think what may have happened is that I may have sold one or two of them without realizing it, and that's my mistake. I'm trying to think, like, I don't want to go into the dungeon just yet. Like, if I pull up my notes, if I were to get everything done and ready, I should be complete with everything I need to do by the second, which means the third I could actually go into the dungeon because I don't want to waste more time getting it. What I could do is I could fish. I, I could fish more and I could get more gemstones, but that's just how I see things and I would probably be going for guardians since they sell for a lot. But that would mean that I would be fishing during the day and then going in at night. I also got the card from uh, Daish from Trumpeter. There we go. Um, I could probably turn that in really quickly because I forgot to do that when I was when I was going up. One of the biggest problems with One of the biggest problems we're currently having is basically a, a loss of ideas of where to go next. And it really is the last month of the school of the game. So I'm going to think about it for a second. I'm going to be right back. Okay, so I'm going to explain what and why I'm doing this today. And then we're going to quickly oh, jump out. Because I feel like right, let's go. I finally understand what I've been doing wrong. Because the problem with fighting the Reaper has always been my own stubbornness not to change. So, the reason why I was going to one of the hardest dungeons and doing it is because I wanted the money I get as well, because I was grinding for money. Which, like I said, if I want to get all of the items for all the other characters, I'm gonna need somewhere around 3 million. Which I could probably farm for within the next few days, because the... The start of the exams is the 6th, so I have a bit of time to go in, do dungeons, do all that kind of stuff. Thanks for the peach seed. Um, and apparently, one of the best strategies is actually to go to the castle. Well, one of the reasons why is... So the reason why we went to the castle is strictly because it means that enemies are going to be a lot easier to take out. One of those enemies that are going to be easier to take out are hands. Ooh, a rare one. Don't let it get away. It doesn't matter what kind of hand it is, they're going to drop Xandrite. So if I just do this... There is a good chance that each one is going to drop one Xandrite. There we go. This means that farming for Xandrite is going to be a lot more easier than I originally anticipated. And any other regular enemy we come across are going to just be pushovers at this point. It Will it mean that we're going to get a lot more money? No. Will it mean that we can go through enemies a lot easier? Yes. And some of the enemies in the final dungeon are deliberately annoying just to be annoying. Just uh, quick grab the items from them. Oh, 
thanks for the chest key. Thanks. Exactly what I wanted. So we're actually going down to floor 5. The reason is because floor 5 is static. It does not change. So it means that all of the stuff that is on that floor will always be on that floor. And one of the big things that were annoying to me was running into enemies that would kill the combo going on. Or whatever the thing that Reaper is currently doing. But we're not really going for money and we're not really going for even really gemstones at this point. Going for a Reaper is fundamentally more important to us right now. Because what we want to do is, when we defeat the Reaper, we're going to get a weapon for the main character. Then we're going to get one for each party member. When, they, when all those slots are filled, it's going to try to give us armor. Once we have armor, that armor equipped onto all four characters, it's going to start dropping the equipment, uh, the accessory. We only need one of those because I want to show that off and it's not even really that good in the grand scheme of things. But it's the idea that all we would have to do is just switch in the other three characters to get their weapons and armor and we should be able to get that pretty easily. Now remember that I say this after having failed to to get the Reaper for four hours. Also if you keep the uh, sweep bonus up you can eventually just start getting a bunch of points because it doesn't matter how low of a dungeon it is as long as you keep getting into that sweep yeah it doesn't matter what level of dungeon you're in, plus one skill point is still plus one skill point. So it is fairly useful at this point of the game. If I really want to power grind any of my characters, now would be the time to do it before I actually enter the final dungeon. Final dungeons? Like, it's, it's really hard to explain. Yeah, it's really hard to explain sometimes, but like, we have the Persona 4 actual, like, final dungeon, and then we have the uh, Persona 4 Golden additional final dungeon. <laughs> eh. I hate it when they do that, where it's like, here's four regular cards, kills your combo. <laughs> Great. Thanks, game. But yeah. Oh, hey. There you go. Don't usually uh, see the other two. Mm. But now that we're on floor five, I can now do what I want, which is since this floor is static, we always know that there were going to be two chests. If I open up the one on the left and it doesn't have, and the Reaper doesn't activate, I go back up a floor, I go back up a floor, and then I go to the, I go to it again. Back up or back down, depending on which one I go through. Because I'm about to hit a go home because this now saves floor 5 as the floor we want to go to. But we actually have another stone to grind while we're here, and that is Howlite. Now you might be actually wondering what exactly Howlite is. Howlite is a gem that is usually dropped by one or two rainy day enemies. The only way that we can actually find Howlite regularly is to actually go into Void Quest, because Void Quest has Strength Beetles, and Strength Beetles actually do drop Howlite at a reduced rate. 
So what we're going to do is I'm going to farm for three, five. I'm going to farm for five Howlite on, um, up here on chapter nine. Oh, hey, how convenient. See how easy it is to take these guys out at maximum stats. Okay, there is a chance that just one might not work. That's fine. We have exactly 500 health, I think. And the more that I do these, the more likely it is that I can build up Xandrite. Let me just quickly... We're currently at 7. I mean that since we started grinding, we only got one. But, that's fine. Because one of the... So, the things that I want to prioritize while I'm grinding is I'm going to want to prioritize stat increases and getting... and getting chest keys. Because we're going to... Because even though we had maximum on the last time that we... The last time that we attempted to grind, we still ran out of them. We ran out of having maximum. I don't know what I was saying there, but we still got quite a bit of ways to go when it comes to all this stuff. So when I finally confirm that strength beetles do in fact appear on this top floor, I'm going to... I'm going to start grinding on it. But one of the you know, basic problems that I'm currently having is the fact that I'm not actually sure if strength beetles do in fact show up on this floor. How about we use light? There we go. Very easily. Dang it. Again, we're going to want to prioritize skill cards, and we want to prioritize above that chest keys, because we're going to be opening so many chests that we might actually just run out. Yeah, I haven't encountered any strength wheels yet, which is annoying. There's one enemy. They might just not be on this floor, so I'm going to probably have to look it up really quickly. But, None shall escape. you kind of understand the, uh, the gist of what is going on, which is we're farming for very specific enemies, opening as many chests as possible, and hopefully running into the Reaper. I don't think I've ever encountered this enemy. Ice won't work, so try another attack. Weird. You say that I have, but I have no memory of uh rainy rainy pot. These all appear to also be rainy day enemies, which is worrying to me, because I didn't think that snowfall would count as rain. But that's okay. Two reinforcements on the enemy side. Also, I did in fact look it up. Turns out that they only really appear on floors 5 and 6. So, I'll probably just go to the floor that is... ...static as well, and just stay on that one until I find them. Oh, there we go. Found some. There's an enemy immune to light. Okay, so they repel everything but darkness, okay. I'll just switch to Alice. Five enemies left. Hang in there. And just use her to take out these beetles. No item from that, but 
weren't really on the floor that was recommended for them. Ooh, hand. As he was flying through the air, it's great. You switch to hello, because that's the one that still needs some points. Yeah, we can't one-shot them as hello, but luckily we actually have two almighty attacks that we can actually, like, deploy. So that's useful. Yeah, magic up. There we go. As long as we keep getting something for grinding, we should be fine. You know? And, like, as long as I... Let me just get back down to, uh, floor six. Before I continue my thought. Okay, back to floor six. We should be running into strength beetles more often here. We also have quite a bit of chests that can appear on these floors. Oh, there they are. Be careful. Light's no good on this one. Fire. Yeah. So if we just keep switching to Alice whenever we see these out. strength beetles, we should be pretty good. Overall, considering that this dungeon really doesn't seem to like instant kill spells. Chest key. Eh, let's go skill up. Let's see what happens. Nope. Okay. How light? There we go. Now all we have to do is do that a few more times and we should be good. Should be good to go on that. Are you kidding? Literally the last chest on this floor activated Reaper. That's annoying. Okay, so you've basically seen how all that goes. So I'm going to be farming Howlite. Then I'm going to be farming for Reaper. As I farm for Reaper, hopefully I'll get enough um, Megatsu Zandrite to compensate for how much I need. And once I do that, I'll probably have quite a bit of money, but probably not enough. And then, if I have enough time, I'll grind for that money. Huh. Apparently we just hadn't picked up Diorama yet. Interesting. And there we go. One of the... big things right now that I don't really have is I don't really have time. I don't have a lot of days to kind of flounder about, even though I've already spent a lot of days floundering about. It really doesn't feel like that, though. I have everything else I need, so I'll probably just leave this save file as my grinding spot, and then I'll probably just continue on, so I'll see you at the house. Welcome back. Yeah, welcome back. I can't leave or do anything because of going to the dungeon today, but that should be fine. New crickets, there we go. Because that's the new one that I need to grind. Not on top of that one. Okay. And that's the episode for today. Uh, thanks for... Thanks for coming up, Woody. Change all robot models. Right, I can't even work on one even if I... Even if I had remembered to grab one. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, check out my links 
below uh, one of them is to my live streams, which I do very infrequently, but I attempt to do on weekends. And while you're down there, you could also leave a like and comment. I always like hearing what other people think, so just like tell me how you're feeling about the series so far. I'll see you guys tomorrow.